place called Farm Road. I have one and a half day to get everything ready until the crew comes. That's gonna go across the Atlantic with me. We did the shopping yesterday and uh, Steffi was a bit sick and Leo was sick so we didn't film anything but the stuff came today and this is the results. So I just started putting things away. Here we have the almond milk and oat milk. We have beer. And here, let me walk you through it. Cleaning supplies. Here is the snacks. A shitload of tuna. Steffi had gone back to Sweden with Leo. The crew had arrived and after a few days we had gotten the last supplies on board, the fruit was washed and we were ready to leave. I was getting really nervous and couldn't shake the feeling that I was forgetting something. We had a really good weather window for the upcoming week and on the day of our planned departure I woke up in the morning, went to start the engine and nothing. Not really nothing, she made a funny clicking sound but she didn't turn around. So. We were so ready to leave at this point, so when the motor didn't start, I really didn't know what to do with myself. One of the new crew for the Atlantic, Ken, he had quite a lot of experience with diesels, so together we immediately started troubleshooting. We soon narrowed it down to the starter motor and the starter battery. To make a long story short, the starter battery had gone bad and had probably been bad for a while. This has led to the solenoid of our starter motor being broken. Volvo Penta had decided to stop selling only the solenoid, so the only solution was to get a completely new starter motor. If you have any experience with Volvo Penta, you're probably familiar with the cost of spare parts, and to say the least, they wanted an obscene amount of money for a spare, and it would take at least two weeks to get it. So the next two days I spent on a bike I had borrowed from a neighboring boat, and was riding around Las Palmas, talking to different mechanics that could get me a new starter motor right away. It took three days. We got the new off-brand starter motor, it fit perfectly, and together with the new starter battery, we were once again ready to leave. The weather was still holding up, and just like that, the next day we could untie the lines and head out into the Atlantic. Coming with me on the Atlantic crossing, I had three crew. Ken, Anna Karin, and my mother Britt. We motored for most of the first day, and as the sun was starting to set, the wind picked up and we could set both our head sails and head dead downwind. Sunset day two. Uh, today is New Year's Eve and it's blowing uh, 20 knots. We're doing we're doing average six knots today. And it looks like it's gonna be a really nice night. Almost got a full moon. There's uh, the sky is almost completely blue and the sun is just setting now. I'll show you guys. Day out on the water. It's the 2nd of January and we have perfect conditions. 20 knots of breeze straight in from behind and we're just plowing along doing 6 knots on average. Sea state is fine. It's all good. Uh, we have the fishing lines out. We haven't been able to catch anything yet. Or we caught two tunas but they've been too, too small to keep hydrogen is steering so we're not using too much electricity and the solar can keep up it's really nice just reading relaxing not doing much at all
morning. Uh, it's 8 o'clock in the morning and I just woke up and I just thought I'd show you how, how the mornings usually look. So Britt is just coming off her shift and I'm going to take over. We have some snacks from the night before. So I usually start with getting the, the sat phone and updating our position and then I send a message to Steffi so she can send us a, a weather update for the coming days. At 10 we plot our position on the chart just to see where we are and how we're doing. And then I start my shift. Thank you so much for watching this first part of the Atlantic Crossing. If you liked the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment down below and tell us what you think. We love hearing from you guys and it really helps out a lot. Stay tuned for the next video. It's gonna be the rest of the Atlantic Crossing and... Uh, Chris haven't texted me from the sat phone. I'm starting to get really worried. <laughs> I hope to hear from him soon. And when we arrive on the other side, so that's gonna be a good one.